turning now to the migrant crisis. And the city giving an update on how many people have passed through its shelter system since last spring and how many they've helped apply for asylum. Fox 5's Morgan McKay joins us now in studio. And Morgan, these numbers certainly paint a pretty startling picture. You're exactly right, Stephen Natasha. This migrant crisis is far from over. And just last week, more than 3,800 migrants arrived here in the city. It's very hard to keep up and to really get to stabilization. More than 150,000 migrants have passed through New York City's shelter system since last spring, with more than 67,000 migrants currently in the city's care. The city does not keep track of where these migrants go after they leave, but they say they have helped more than 21,000 migrants apply for asylum. When I was at the Roosevelt last night for a coat distribution and had the opportunity to give away, I think it was over 2,000 coats to children that are here. This comes as the city continues to plead with the federal government for more assistance. The shelter at the Floyd Bennett Field, which can house up to 2,000 migrants and was only opened about a month ago, is already housing around 1,400 people. We know that probably by before the end of the year, Floyd Bennett Field will be at full capacity. As the city runs out of room to house migrants, they've also been continuing their push with the state to lift the right to shelter mandate, which requires that the city provide shelter to anyone who needs it. Officials are currently arguing in court that this 1980s consent decree was never meant to apply to migrants. In response to this growing legal battle, the Coalition for the Homeless released this ad on Thursday. If New York's legal right to shelter is dismantled, thousands will be forced to live on our streets and in tent encampments. Imagine, is that the New York we want? But groups like Coalition for the Homeless and Legal Aid have been urging not only the federal government to do more, but also the state. A spokesperson for Governor Kathy Hochul said, quote, she has invested nearly $2 billion in state funding for shelter and other resources, successfully pressured the Biden administration to grant TPS for Venezuelans, and opened up nearly 8,000 beds for migrants on state-owned or state-funded sites. Ex-Governor Andrew Cuomo, who resigned amid numerous scandals, also had his own criticism for his successor. It's an abandonment by the federal government. It's compounded by the state government, which is missing in action. Now, Cuomo also went on to talk about the fiscal impact the migrant crisis has had on the city and state. But just as a reminder, taxpayers are still paying for Cuomo and his administration's legal fees, which has so far cost New Yorkers more than $20 million. This includes a federal probe into Cuomo's handling of nursing homes and the sexual harassment lawsuits lodged against the former governor. Steve Natasha. All right, Morgan, thank you.